Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will be able to describe and explain the difference between seed producing and non-seed producing plants. So, so let's, let's do, do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to describe and explain the differences between seed producing plants and non-seed producing plants. Plants are grouped into several different categories such as vascular and non-vascular plants. Vascular plants are seed producing and non-vascular plants do not produce seeds. Let's talk about seed producing or vascular plants first. Seed producing plants make up most of the plants on earth. Seed producing plants have root systems that allow them to transport materials like water and other nutrients throughout their entire structure to help them grow and survive. Seed producing plants also do not have to live near water since they can absorb water through their roots. Most vascular plants are seed producing plants and are also known as spermatophytes. Seed producing plants depend on animals and wind for their seeds to spread to other similar seed producing plants in order to reproduce. There are two main types of seed producing plants, which are angiosperms and gymnosperms. Angiosperms are seed producing flowering plants. Angiosperm seeds are protected inside the plant. They often show flowers before they bear fruit. Some examples of angiosperms include fruit trees like mango, apple, banana, peach, cherry, orange, and pear trees. The other type of vascular seed producing plants are gymnosperms, which are seed producing non-flowering plants. Gymnosperms produce naked seeds that are not protected inside the plant. Pine cones are examples of gymnosperm seeds. Some examples of gymnosperms include cypress, pine trees, spruce trees, redwood trees, and a few others. Let's do a quick check for understanding before we dive into non-vascular, non-seed producing plants. What are three things you have learned about vascular or seed producing plants? Take two minutes to write your responses and be prepared to share out with your class. You got this. Non-vascular, non-seed producing plants, or bryophytes, are plants that do not have root systems to transport materials. Since they do not have root systems, non-vascular plants have to live in their nutrient-rich environment in order to survive. As stated earlier, the biggest difference between vascular and non-vascular plants is that non-vascular plants do not produce flowers and seeds, while vascular plants do. Plants such as ferns and mosses are called non-seed producing plants and produce spores instead of seeds. There is also another group of non-seed producing plants called fungi, which include mushrooms. Fungi also reproduce by spores. A spore is a cell that certain fungi, plants like moss and ferns, and bacteria produce. Spores are involved in reproduction just like seeds. Spores have thick walls. They can resist high temperatures, humidity, and other environmental conditions. They can travel by wind, but must land in a moist place for them to be able to reproduce. Now let's do a quick recap of seed producing and non-seed producing plants. Seed producing or vascular plants have root systems that allow them to transport materials like water and other nutrients throughout their entire structure to help them grow and survive. Seed producing plants do not have to live near water since they can absorb water through their roots. Non-vascular, non-seed producing plants or bryophytes are plants that do not have root systems to transport materials. Since they do not have root systems, non-vascular plants have to live in their nutrient-rich environment in order to survive. Seed producing plants produce seeds while non-seed producing plants produce spores. There are many more seed producing plants on earth than non-seed producing plants. Seeds are considered more advanced than spores, not only because of their larger size, but because of how they sustain or keep plant life alive. The main advantages of seeds over spores are protection, dispersal, and genetic diversity of offspring. And that's some of our differences between seed producing and non-seed producing plants. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between seed producing and non-seed producing plants by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. 
Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day.